Hi, my name's Paul Oliver, and today I'm going to talk to you about Flex, Silverlight, and the future of software delivery. Today I'm going to focus on the focal issue. And then next I will identify key forces and then rank them. Then I'm going to select scenario logics and put them into a scenario matrix that will help us make a good decision. I want to flesh out that scenario and see where it leads us and after we decide which direction to go we're going to look at the implications for this focal issue. In the end, what if we're wrong? Let's forward contingency plans to see where we could uh, potentially look for problems and how to handle them if they arise. The focal issue is where we would identify what exactly we're trying to uh, look at for the future. In the next five years what will the scene look like? Maybe in the next 10 years we're looking for something. This is what we're going to do for this particular problem. My focal issue is how will the emergence of web presentation tools like Adobe Flex and Microsoft Silverlight affect the traditional software presentation layer? What will the world of software delivery look like in five years? First, let's identify key forces and rank them. Maybe there's something uh, we might overlook, so brainstorm a little bit to identify some some key local forces. In my opinion, with local forces, I see several issues uh, that we need to consider when looking at our scenario plan. First, software from a box still has more features in web-based offerings, and there is no current cur there is no current killer app that runs in Flex or Silverlight. Those were my top two local forces. As you can see, there are several that were considered here. Um, I won't read them all off to you, but you can get the gist of them from this slide. After that, I wanted to look at key macro forces. Macro forces are issues that are forces that are outside the problem domain specifically. Macro forces that I've seen were web applications are becoming more prevalent. Look at features from TurboTax, Salesforce.com, Google Docs. Also, Windows market share is dropping while Mac OS's share is rising. Currently, Mac OS's are on about 10% of the desktops. And customers are demanding better interfaces of software. That's not going to change. After we identified local and macro forces and we've ranked them, let's select a few of them to flesh out or to look at in a, in a scenario matrix. The three top issues I identified, or forces, were web applications becoming more prevalent, like TurboTax, Salesforce.com, and Google Docs. Number two was software from a box. It's more powerful than software over the web. And the third one was there's currently no killer app that runs in Flex or Silverlight. The first force, web applications being becoming more prevalent, is obviously important because it speaks to the popularity of the web as a delivery medium for software. However, I think this is now a foregone conclusion. The web will continue to grow in popularity and people will think nothing of doing real work on the web. It's going to be expected. However, 2 and 3 seem to be central to the, ad the adoption of web application frameworks like Flex and Silverlight. There will, these will be the two dimensions I'll explore in creating my scenario matrix. As you can see in the scenario matrix, on the left-hand side, we have a killer application emerging in Flex or Silverlight. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Let's look at that possibility. On the upper hand, um, Silverlight and Flex become as powerful as software from a box. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. When those four scenarios were, are laid out, we're going to look at potential outcomes and see what could come about, maybe. First, in scenario one, I thought the web-based applications are considered toys because, well, they're just not as powerful as software from a box. Scenario 2, while Flex and Silverlight provide similar or more functionality than software from a box, no killer app shows up, making adoption slower. In Scenario 3, this is the disruptive technology that I see could possibly happening from web-based software delivery like Flex and Silverlight. In terms of features, we're going to see Flex and Silverlight applications equal or even exceeding desktop applications. Also, the killer app makes this the obvious choice for new software. 
And in Scenario 4, even though you get more from software from a box, feature-wise, the Killer app makes Flex or Silverlight applications commonplace for a reduced but good enough set of features. Also, another disruptive technology waiting to happen. We've looked at possible scenarios. What are the implications for the focal issue? How shall we proceed? I'm going to recommend that uh, we go to a Silverlight platform for the next major software release. I come from a Microsoft shop, so that's why I would be po focusing on Silverlight. However, if I were from a Java or PHP or other shop, I might also consider Flex instead. Adobe's Flex platform is very useful and could potentially be better than Silverlight because of its market penetration with Flash. I would like to hire or create a team to develop software utilizing Silverlight as one of the implications for the focal issue. I'd also understand the current trajectory and market share of Silverlight as its installed user base expands. I want to develop a pricing model based on anticipated budgets and costs of the platform. I also want to look at our bandwidth, hosting solutions to keep up with demands of the platform. I want to look at what our competition is doing. Maybe we should be looking at something else. Look for partnership opportunities also. I also want to analyze the impact of the economy on software delivered over the web. Could it be positive? Maybe it's negative. Determine how to best train our employees to deliver Silverlight applications, and should we target Silverlight 2, which is stable, or Silverlight 3 beta, which is just released but has a lot more features? Should we change our licensing agreement with customers and software vendors to accurately reflect software delivered over the web? We should have our legal team modify the company's privacy policy and terms of use policy to reflect software delivered over the web. Should we create a task force to secure our customer data when it is stored in our systems? And we should have the marketing team start working on material to educate our customers on the new web platform. In other words, we should develop a change management plan. Those are a few of the implications that we could look at with the scenarios. Next, we want to select leading indicators and signposts. Are we on the right track? First, we should subscribe and join user groups for Silverlight. Perhaps we can get some tips or even see how the popularity grows or wanes. We should meet with our customers and give demos for soliciting feedback. Also, why not create a beta testing user group, which will have permission to try out our new software for free. But we'd like some feedback in return, please. Let's task someone with tracking the buzz in the press and news groups on Silverlight. Also, let's create a survey for our customer base. Let's ask how they feel about a richer experience delivered over the web. Also, look for negative press surrounding the web-based software. And let's analyze the difficulty in finding and hiring developers that can create software using Silverlight. Once we have identified leading signposts and indicators, let's see if maybe there's some contingency plans we should look into. As we develop the new platform, let's make our code libraries presentation layer agnostic. That is, the brains of the application will work the same whether we use the web or a traditional desktop application as the presentation layer. Let's adopt Agile as our software development methodology which will help change directions in the middle of the process if need be. And let's keep our licenses current if we need to go back to the traditional desktop application without hang-ups. Have any questions? Please email me at paul at if you'd like to know more. Thank you for listening.